Good morning, muggles. Uh, let's see here. So a lot of people are just getting started with Iron Throne, the game formerly known as uh, Firstborn. And I'm going to just try and walk through some basics here, okay? So the first thing that you want to know is that you absolutely want to rush to Stronghold 16. Don't mess with equipment before that. Don't worry about it. You know, okay, maybe some easy peasy stuff. But the reason is, see this little little lady right here, right here? You click on her and you'll see the rewards that you get per stronghold level, okay? Now I'm gonna go over a couple real quick and I'll just forgive me. Dimensional battle, very important. Battle royale, very important. Team deathmatch, very important. Town mode, I skipped over it, very important. These are what you'd call the mini games, okay? <clears throat> I typically, typically call dimensional battle, dim void, just, I'm just lazy to write it. Town mode, which I just call town stuff. Battle royale, which people will typically shorten to BR. And team deathmatch, which people typically shorten to TDM. Okay? So when you get to 16, you get this. It's berserker armor. In the game, you've really got two choices, okay? Let's be real. You can be a free player, or you can just buy some shit. If you're gonna be a free player, hold off on crafting until 16, Get that, start upgrading it. Okay, simple enough. That's gonna be your go-to, go-to, you know, armor for a while. Some people will disagree. They'll say, you know, a different armor is easier to upgrade, etc., etc., etc. Hey, whatever. It's opinions. You know, you're welcome to to go a different route. But in my opinion, you can get to 16 pretty easily without having to mess with crafting stuff, and it's free. So I mean, it's a full set. You can't really complain about that. You know, it's free. So rush to 16. The other thing is, is town mode is, well, okay, let's back up. Let's go dimensional battle. I'm gonna walk through this real quick. Um, dimensional thingy is this. So this, this thingy right here. And you know, you've got these uh, quest thingies and the story mode over here on the left-hand side, and you've got the arena over here on the right-hand side. Okay, these are important. Do these. Story mode gives good rev uh, good rewards. The arena is, well, uh, it has two different things. Um, you can get buffs from it. So you look here on the left-hand side, you do 10 wins, and you get these two extra buffs. <clears throat> I'm a little bit lazy. Forgive me for being lazy, blah, blah, blah. I could probably be rank one. I'm lazy, don't, yeah, whatever. So we've got that. I'll cover that more depth in a different episode. This is just like the quick overview of, of where stuff is and what to do, okay? Because there's four mini games, and you need to do each one of them. Town mode. All right, let's go down to town mode. Town mode is this down here. So we zoom out. You know, it's at the edge of your city down here. Click on this. It's going to take you to town mode. Town mode... Town mode is probably kind of boring, to be honest. It's mostly fetch quests, okay? So, suck it up, that's what it is. Um, I mean, you can run around and do things like this, but at the end of the day, what you do is here is you expand your menu, you click on this, on the quest. I'll click on this one. Oh. All right, so this isn't gonna do what I wanted it to do, but I'll, all right, I'll just accept this for now. So I accepted it. And, and there's cool stories and stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna stop running for a second here. So all you have to do for these quests is just skip through the stories, and then when it says speak to someone, just click on it one time, and it's gonna auto-take you there. That's it. And then you just click on him, and blah, 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 and skip through this stuff. I, I gotta admit, it's really cool, but me personally, I think it's a little bit boring. However, it's important because of this. The rewards that you can get are very good. You may not realize this, but like these, these buffs right here, this stuff, this is, this is good stuff. So this, oh, there's not resourcing. I want to, I want to get a research boost, boof, buff, the So far they're not giving it to me. I saw construction, but I didn't see research. Production, construction. 
I could be mistaken. They may not have a, um, a research buff here, but I'm going to spend a little bit of resources here and just keep, recy keep cycling through it until I get what I want. Maybe I'm just stupid and then... Oh, there it is. There's a research 4%. So we're just going to keep going through it, hoping to get lucky. Research 4%. Jackpot. Oh, wrong jackpot. I know this is this is going to end up taking longer than expected. Construction again. But what you want, though, at the end of the day, is that you want three jackpots. And so what happens is, is when you lock in the first one, you do a small quest, you know, you do 20 points, and then that's locked down. So once that's completed, it's locked down, and then you can cycle through it again for the second one, and then you can cycle through it again for the third one. So... You, you're not going to get them all at the same time. So you get the first one locked down, the one that you want. You get 20 points. Then you, um, you know, progress. Then you, um, I'll just show you. I'll try and get lucky and try and get, get the first one to be what I want. This is going to take a minute. This is going to be one of those 15 minute videos of revenge pushing a button and... Uh, I'm beginning to think that the first one will not not give me what I want. Should I settle for it? That construction 50% is really good. I'm really tempted to settle for it. I think I'm going to settle for it. So we're just going to we're just going to think that we're very lucky and very fortunate to have that, and then we're going to start. We're going to click on this, and what we're going to do is you see it says daily rewards 10 points. We're just going to instant finish it and be done. Now, this one is also 10 points, instant finish, and we're done. And then the nice thing is, we come up here, activated buff, jackpot. So now we go on to the next one. So we've got a construction 12%. I shouldn't be a greedy smurf and hit refresh, but I think I'm going to. That hero attack, that hero attack is quite good too. Okay, so when you're in town mode, 5% research. I don't know, I'm so tempted because they're not gonna give me a jackpot on the research. I think the research is really rare, just, just FYI. I'm tempted. Yeah, we're just gonna go for it. So you see that you just click here, you spend a little bit of resources, Out. And then it's activated. And then for the third one, you just keep doing in the same thing, okay? It's really simple. See that hero attack 90? That's really awesome. When you guys are hunting monsters, you want all three hero attacks. So like if you're gonna go crazy on hunting monsters one day, get all three hero attacks, it'll help you a lot. Construction speed 17%. It's not the jackpot, I guess the jackpot's 20. I don't know, I'll probably just go for it. But I'm gonna finish the story mode later. We're not gonna we're not gonna spend twenty years in the um, in the town mode. So that's that's mini game number two, okay? Hopefully you're not lost. So we go back to the lady. And then we're gonna see mini game number three. Oops. Number three. Alright, so this is Battle Royale. This is a free game. Okay? These aren't you have to pay gold. This isn't King of Avalon. You're you're not gonna you know, spend a bunch of gold doing these things to do the dimensional void, to do the other stuff. You can spend gold, but you don't have to. It's totally free. Don't worry about it. Okay, so over here is going to be your dimensional void, dimensional void thingy. This is currently closed, but it tells you when it opens. Four hours until application opens. On that one, five hours on this one. And so what these are, they're mini games. I'm, I'm going to cover them more in depth than a different thing. But what, what happens is, is you basically, it opens, and you got like five minutes to just start signing up. So you go sign up, and then you're just randomly matched with people. When you go in there, everybody's stats are the same. Nobody's really got an advantage. Um, you know, if you've got a bunch of friends signing up at the same time, maybe you got an advantage because you can team against the enemy, things like this. But it comes down to skill more than it does. It comes down to skill and strategy more than it does money. Because money, it's not going to win you on that. Okay? End of story. You're just not going to win money with that. So free players, you guys are going to love this. You want to dominate this game, go in there, and if you see me, don't hit me, please. Let me win. 
So, um, yeah, there's that. So those are the four mini games that we have currently. There's another thing up here, and it's this. Let's see here. It's called AR mode. I have never done it. I probably won't do it, but you might find it really cool. And what happens is, is it'll put like a dragon flying around your living room or something. I'm not sure 100%, but it's really cool. I'm not going to do it because it requires access to my camera. And yeah, so that's just me. Um, okay, so there's that. The next thing is, um, how do you change your name? Okay, you just started the game. You're five minutes in. Top left corner, Revenge 3, just like King of Avalon. You go there, you change it, it's done. Okay? Simple. For Lord skills, I don't know. You know, everybody's going to be different. And so it's just like, do you want to go economy? Do you want to go monster killing? Do you want to go battle? You can reset it. Um, so, yeah. But these are your Lord skills. And remember, this is just like the, the super quickie, you know, tutorial on, okay, this is Iron Throne. What the hell do I do? Okay, next piece. Here, your forge. Crafting equipment. Okay, you just click on the forge. I would probably say site equipment is more important. And, you know, you've got your different sets. So we'll just go glorious. We'll say craft. And, you know, I can, it says down here on the, on the, you know, see? I can craft. Now, here's the deal. You've got all these different grades that you can craft, starting with poop all the way up to immortal. Okay, so over here is the basic level. And over here is poop, I mean, um, immortal. So what happens is, is that 25% says you have a 25% chance to roll an immortal piece. And the reason is because I'm using two purple diamonds. Okay, if I had more orange diamonds, it's going to be basically more favorable. Now, if you have 25% there, you might want to wait. Okay, I'm just saying you might want to wait. You, you know, it's really your call. You know, I can't say I can't make that choice for you. But 25% is pretty, pretty low odds. It's probably, it's probably not going to roll a real 25%. It's probably going to be, you know, more like a 5 or 10% chance. Now, you're going to say, okay, well, that's cool. But how do I get that stuff? So when you go to your, when you go to your map, you click search. Um, all right, let's stop. Let's put auto, and then some monsters are going to pop up, and some monsters are going to pop up. There we go. I can't beat this guy yet. Nope. Hmm. All right, whatever. So we're just going to click on any monster. That's not helpful. Let's try and find any big monster. So let's, um, oh common too. All right. Pow. There we go. So when you click on a monster, and some of these monsters are higher level, lower level monsters aren't going to be this generous. But when you get to higher level monsters, you're going to see all sorts of stuff. So this monster is going to drop speed ups and this purple thing on the end. And that purple thing is destroyer equipment material. Okay? So if you want to craft the destroyer set, you want to get destroyer equipment material. Okay? It's just, there you go. So it's a chest. And you open up many chests, and it drops money and a lot of junk, and you can use it to craft stuff. So that's basically it. So depending on what kind of monster you're killing, you know, Black Unicorn drops this. You know, Minotaur drops that. You know, they all have different types of things that they drop. See, so this one was a conquering equipment material. So different types of monsters drop different types of stuff. So if you, if you specifically want to go for Destroyer, hunt, hunt that type of monster. You know, and here's a Mammoth. And you can see that he drops, you know, Dominator equipment. So the type of monster you're going after will drop different stuff. And some of them are speed up monsters, etc., etc. There's also um, epic monsters and, and rares and stuff like that. So there you go. Like this is Destroyer. Okay. Anyway, you get the idea. That's that. There's your help menu. You see the bottom left-hand corner right where it was near search? When you want to help your friends, click there. Alliance. Research. This is your alliance research. Okay? It's going to be really important for you and your alliance to... Um, maybe we can begin this? Can we? Sweet. We can begin this. Cool. 
You do research, and then when you speed it up, you're going to see that 